Okay, so you're asking for us for permission? To yeah, well, I... Fellas, welcome back to another Bass Bucks video. Today, we're gonna be doing a uh, little bit of something different for you. Or not really different, it's Ammo Monday, as usual. The different thing today is... In 1.5 miles. We're actually starting off the video with something I haven't ever done for you guys. Meeting somebody from the Wild Shriner Ranch here. We're picking up an Axis deer. I wanna do a little bit of filming on that. Not too much, not gonna bore you guys too much on that. Guys, what the Axis deer looks like and everything like that. Hop right into the ammo. Today, I'm actually gonna be going and heading to Bass Pro and seeing if I can purchase some ammo from there and then possibly even using it in this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned if you guys want to check out the wild shriner i'll leave the link down in the description i do a lot of hunts there and stuff like that um that being said though let's hop on the track supply and we'll see you guys in a second Here with, you remember him luke <laughs> the axis deer wild shriner ranch i got a sticker for you be careful with the velvet here here you go oh i appreciate it yeah Thank if you want to put that on your truck or whatever all right i'll see you later luke you too, yeah uh-huh the uh, axis deer here in velvet oh, bang Wild Shriner Ranch if you want to check them out. Head on over to RTC. I gotta go. Shut this thing off <coughs> at RTC. Go ahead and go do the ammo video for you guys. Uh, we made it to the Outdoor World Bass Pro shops and we are actually going to be doing a little bit of checking on ammo today. Even do a little bit of purchasing on ammo. I just want to see what they have. I never actually purchased a box of factory ammo. I always reload my own stuff. Video. If I shoot in this video though, it's going to get demonetized so I more than likely won't shoot in this video. We're going to actually hop into the store here and go check out the ammo aisle. So stay tuned. What? What is that you're bringing? You keep trying to show me our shelves. I wonder if we have ammo. No. What, what were you um, you? I have like a YouTube channel where I do like uh, ammo shipments. I reload my own ammo too. Uh, is that Buck and Bass? Yeah, Bass, but Bass and Bucks. B Bass and Bucks, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So I'll come in here and I'll film like if y'all got ammo shipments and I'll usually purchase some ammo here. Okay, so you're asking for us for permission? Yeah, to well, I've come and filmed multiple times for here. I just haven't had a problem. Well, well here's the thing. We, the reason we, we try to not let people do that is just because, again, we don't, we have a different process that we do it with. Sign up for ammo or whatever it may be. There's a, there's a, uh, there's numbering ammo. system that we actually use uh -huh. and then we actually lined it up with there so i don't want people to think just whenever we have it it's a free for all we can let you speak about that one of the things that we promote too is the eight boxes of ammo versus uh -huh. five whenever you become a club we don't want to be misrepresented we allow that then we're saying okay with that yeah you know okay. what i mean so i can't film this in no. here no no okay. not with that but you know what send me an email Okay. Say, hey, you know, Jesse, can I do this? And then maybe we, we can get together and we, we let you come in here with nobody in here. And then you can, if you okay. want to give a bit of insight. Yes, sir. Yeah, we yeah, don't mind partnering up with you. I, I, I don't can, mind. Okay. If you want to subscribe. Oh, bro, I, I saw you guys the other day. I live in Helotus, so I saw y'all's truck. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's see what we can do together. Okay, yes, sir. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Well, guys, we're off to Academy. Never been stopped for to film in here. I filmed probably 10, 15 videos at Bass Pro. Never been stopped for filming. And uh, I guess today it's just one of those days, you know, give me a damn slip or whatever for coming in. That is weird as heck, guys. The manager seen my YouTube channel. I don't understand why he didn't let me film because he's seen my YouTube channel around town. If you guys heard in the video, he said that he saw my truck. So I don't want to end this video on a sorry note. So I'm actually going to go to Academy. It does kind of make the video pretty badass though that I did get kicked out of Bass Pro. Yeah, so I'm going to head over to the Academy, see if they have any ammo over there. Might even buy like a little Target or something to shoot at this evening. All right, guys, so uh, I don't want you guys to misinterpret anything. That guy, the manager is obviously really nice. He's seen my YouTube channel. He might even be subscribed. He might watch my stuff. I don't want to make them out to be like a mean person. I love Bass Pro Shops. If I were got a job at Bass Pro Shops, it'd be really helpful for my YouTube channel as well because then I could really be educated on what's moving around. So I don't want to throw any shade at Bass Pro Shops for kicking me out. I understand their situation. They don't want a misinterpretation of how much ammo you can buy. Uh, they want to work with me, so they obviously said that in the video. You guys obviously heard in the video, but they just won't be getting my business for today. Day. Definitely gonna be emailing the manager making sure I can film in there and everything I can almost guarantee you He's seen some of my videos as well. Honestly guys I don't know about you But I feel like they were looking out for me or they were looking for me because some of my videos really took off that I filmed there One ammo video that I filmed there guys got like 3,000 views or something 90% of those people were from San Antonio area I feel like they've seen my YouTube videos uh, They caught on and they didn't want me doing that anymore or something I mean, I wasn't giving any misinterpretation I was getting live feedback from the employees there that actually work there and see everything going on every day It's not like I'm giving false information on the shop on bash pro shop i'm just going to email them get hopefully work with them soon in the future and film more videos there i don't want to give up on the filming there because those videos tend to do well that being said i'm going to head over to academy right now bass pro is not going to get in my business today i'm going to head over to academy see what they have and kind of keep this video rolling for you guys i'm actually doing a video guys where i wait in the academy line on a tuesday or a thursday when they get ammo shipments in just interview people in the line let me know if you guys want to see that down below bro the manager was super nice lightly asked me to leave catch you guys over at academy i'm out of contacts right now so need to get new contacts we're gonna have to rip here buy something academy stay tuned all right everybody whoa am i really wearing a mask right now in the car what the liberal shit's that made it to the academy let's see what they got going on here i'm not really got my hopes high for academy academy literally never has 
fucking ammo. Literally nothing, guys. Never has any ammo. I'm gonna walk in there and see what they actually have. I just got off the phone with my buddy Zach, and he actually said that a good video idea, like literally right after I was finished with telling you guys a good video idea would be to camp out here. He told me it was like, dude, a good video would be to camp here and wait for the ammo shipment. So I'm probably gonna do that here. They do get ammo shipments in tomorrow, and so I might right here and camp camp out and uh, see if I can't get some ammo shipments. I would strictly do it for the video go guys. I'm not camping out because I'm one of those weird guys. That being said, let's hop into Academy and see what we can do. I got at the front gave me a nasty look. I think they know me here too, fuck. I think everybody knows me. Over to the ammo now and see. Of course guys, there's no ammo. Exclusive for you guys, I have not told anyone this, but merch drop May 17th um, on the Bass and Bucks channel. I'm gonna probably come out with some targets too for the Bass and Bucks channel. Nothing really set in stone yet, uh, but I do wanna steal target. Might invest in that. No ammo here. No, not even bullets over here. Let's go get a price check on this. Cause... Okay, $40 for this right here. Uh, it's way too expensive for me. They got two cases of bullet tips. That's it though. Yeah guys, so no ammo at Academy. Probably not gonna buy anything here today. Deer calls, turkey calls, all that kind of stuff. Kind of rough right now for hunting and stuff like that because uh, deer season just ended, you know, like duck season just ended. There's hardly any seasons right now where you can actually get out and go hunting. That's why I'm kind of filming these ammo videos for you guys. So it's hard to get out and actually film good hunting and fishing content right now because everything's out of season other than exotics. So I did film a zebra hunt for you guys. Please check that out. All right, buddy, so we just walked out of the Academy here. Next video, make sure you guys subscribe down below because I am going to be camping out at Academy that you guys do not want to miss that episode. I'm going to be camping out tonight, tomorrow, and actually buying some ammo for you guys getting in the, with the mob. What you guys can expect if you guys are joining the mob and trying to come get ammo for yourself. Guys, thank you guys for watching this Bass and Bucks video. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Like I already said, like give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and watch the next video. It'll be up here or down there. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.